Joined by our MVP, Theo Campbell, and head coach Rich Brand of the Dorchester Bears. Theo, you, you talked to coach and you were like, I want the ball, I want to take this play on the fake uh, punt. What did you see as the field opened up and then you had all that daylight on your second touchdown of the day? Honestly, I didn't see nothing. I was just waiting, trying to get the two yards, and then it just bust open, and then I'm not in the end zone next play. Latin Academy was one of the best teams in the city a year ago. They won the Mason uh, Trophy. This year, though, the no huddle, how much has that helped you? You guys took up that entire first quarter, and you put it in for your first of two touchdowns today. How much do you have fun playing in the no huddle offense? I love it because I like running, honestly. Looking at your team, though, not only playing extremely well on offense, holding BLA to just 14 points, how good does that feel to come away with a big victory and to return the Mason Trophy to Dorchester? It feels great because coaches all week just been stressing about do your assignment and all that, and everybody just responded to the challenge and holding the 14 points. Congratulations, Theo, on a Thank tremendous you. game. Good luck going forward. We'll bring in Coach Marin. Coach, you've been on both sides of this rivalry. <laughs> You coached at BLA. You obviously have a ton of respect for Joseph Mason. What does it mean to bring the Mason Trophy back to Dorchester? You guys have traded it off back over the past five years and to bring it back this year. It's, it's more fun. You know, and again, it, uh, Coach Zizer and I decided to try to get that competition between the schools and have that rivalry, yet at the same time show great sportsmanship. That's really what it's about, and that's what Coach Mason was about. So, you know, it's not so much, I mean, I believe me, I love bringing it back to Boston, bringing it back to Dorchester for Coach, but, you know, it's about the camaraderie of the game and, and showing the class of the city of Boston, because we are a classy outfit. It was a great, great game today. People you enjoyed it. <laughs> you came in with one tackle unable to play, another tackle banged up, yeah. and yet you really own the line of scrimmage. How impressed, how proud are you of this offensive and defensive line today? Well, they worked hard all week. You know, we had a good beginning of the week, and near the end, you know, it wasn't, wasn't as sharp as I wanted it to be because there was just a lot of confusion when you put new people in there. But, uh, you know, you saw it. They came, they came together and they played really well. And Johnny Mims, Johnny Mims, Johnny Mims, and Theo with the run, we came over. I can't take credit for that fake punt. That was uh, Coach Bill. And he said, fake punt. I said, what are you, crazy? Look at this field position. And I said, okay, let's do it. And, uh, you know, Theo busted it open. He said, Coach, I, I got this. I got these two yards. And he had a little more than two yards. 2-0, two, oh, two wins over rivals. What do you need to improve upon to keep this momentum going? Well, just overall improvement. That's been, we stress that all the time. Every week we want to get better and better and better. So, you know, you know, we get our cornerbacks turned around a little, giving up the big play. We usually don't give up the big play, you know, and, um, you know, we have to work on those things if we're going to go man-to-man -man on people. So, uh, you know, just improving overall as a team. Everything's team. That's what we stress. Congrats on the coach, Coach Moran. A great win for Dorchester.